Hey folks, welcome back to the fifth free video in the Serve and Grow Rich program designed to help you make more money in your current restaurant job. I've mentioned a few times that I believe you can make an extra 10% in tips this week if you watch these videos and apply the ideas. Now, if I came up to you and said, let's say you normally make $500, and I said to you, here's an extra 50 bucks, what would your reaction be? You would be smiling. Money makes us smile. As a matter of fact, as I was rehearsing and even as I'm doing this, I'm remembering a time when I received a $6,500 commission check. It's putting me in a very good mood just thinking about it, even though it's long spent. So, my question is, if we know money makes us smile, and that if we smile, we make more money, shouldn't we be smiling more so we can make more money more? You follow? You should be smiling at your customers, at your coworkers, at yourself in the bathroom mirror. If you are in a bad mood, go into the bathroom, practice bouncing up on the balls of your feet, smiling at the ceiling. It's proven, without a doubt, at this point, that smiling actually improves our mood even if we have chosen a bad mood. Physiology affects psychology and, as I've also said, emotions are contagious. And I've also said that people are there for an emotional experience. So remember, you are in charge. You can set the tone by smiling at your customers. Think about the money. Money makes you smile. Therefore, if you start smiling, you'll make more money. It's a pretty simple equation. And it's really kind of funny to include it in a series like this, but I did do some research and it is proven that smiling servers and bartenders make more money. So there you have it. Smile on your way to work knowing you're going to make more money and smile on the way home knowing you made more money. I know there's a lot of repetition here, but it's really a simple idea that needs to be repeated so that you do it. The second emotional component in this message is confidence. And again, you're setting the tone. Customers, I've witnessed it myself, they get very nervous around people who appear either incompetent or shaky on the floor or uncertain of what they're doing. By the rule of contagion, people then become uncertain that their food is going to come out correctly or, and this is really strange, they're uncertain if they even enjoyed their food because people take cues from other people. So be confident on the floor. Even if it's a new job and you're new to the industry, fake it till you make it. Walk with correct posture. You know. Standing up straight, shoulders back, you know what you're doing, you are moving from one place to another with a purpose. And this again inspires the dining experience. If you are extremely busy and a customer, let's say, has a, uh, how shall I put it, non-emergency need, they will actually wait to ask until they see it is appropriate and you are able to respond rather than interrupting you simply to see if you become more flustered. These are very primal um, behaviors and actions and reactions on the part of both yourself and your customers, but I assure you it will translate into your weekly and monthly income. So, smile. You're making more money. Be confident that you're making more money. Smile because you know everybody's happy and be confident that everyone knows you're doing a good job. That's it for the fifth video. Please smile and proceed to the sixth video.